Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. All praises and glory goes to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Rakat Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations unto the elect men feeding the sheep of Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and sincerity and truth through this great gospel coming out of our Bible, man. Coming out of our Bible. And yeah, we in the times of um, trouble. We in the times of um, the visitation of the Lord. The Lord's about to visit this place, man. Where the spirit of comfortability is comf comfortableness is about to vanish. The spirit of safety is about to vanish. The spirit of peace is about to vanish. Right? Because these people, they don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> the people of this society. <laughs> the people of this society, man. The Lord said what? Let's get this verse right quick. This is the book of Amos 3, verse 6. It reads, Shall a trumpet be blown in a city and the people not be afraid? I'm going to read it again. Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in a city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? And the Lord have not done it. Right? We just had a mass shooting down the street. A mass shooting down the street, man. Little young niggas open fire and one bitch got killed and a bunch of other motherfuckers got hit up with a bunch of people in the park. This is a park where none but kids and children chill at, man. The Lord shot that motherfucker up and you travel further down on the south side of Chicago. Guess what, the Lord? Another mass shooting. Right? You're having shootings after shootings, killings after killings. You got the migrants in New York kicking the police in their ass. Right? Kicking the police in their ass. But if you go back, what? 15 years ago 20 years ago what was the prophets of the Lord talking about man? they told you about the times that were about to come and they were blowing the trumpet they were telling you the Lord said um, give them warning from me this is the book of Ezekiel 3 and 17 it reads Sons of, son of man I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel yeah if you in this truth you are a watchman unto the house of Israel pushing this gospel to prophets because not everybody's a prophet. Some of you, you just don't believe and you're going to be saved from believing. A lot of you women, most of you women, yeah, for believing and for being a good wife unto your husband. Right, I'm reading again, Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, the Lord is only warning Israel. The Lord don't give a damn about no Moabites, no Edomites, no Hamites, no um, Ammonites, no Elamites, right? No, and all these other filthy heathen nations, man, right? Because, man, oh, man, they about to fall, right? Because they, they believe in their power, right? Right now, the Moabites are worse, are celebrating the year of the dragon, the year of the dragon. And according to um, some of their props, their so-called prophets in their land, they said, man, this year of the dragon don't look too good. Because on the first day of the year, the dragon, what the Lord do? A mass shooting. We're speaking about people being put to death. Over in China, they had a mass shooting. Some ex-cop came back and sprayed up the neighborhood, man. I guess they locked him up for some. He came back and sprayed up the whole neighborhood. Over, what, 20 people dead? 40 people shot? What else? They had bad weather? Oh, what bad weather, man. The Lord said he's going to visit you with thunder and storm paraphrasing right over in the land of Israel over in the Middle East place of what desert you got motherfucking floods you got floods right <laughs> the Lord is preparing that place for who the children of Israel man we, we're not gonna go back to a sandy land right the Lord the Lord's gonna prepare that place for us the Lord's gonna kill these heathens over there just like the Lord got the Palestinians fighting against the Israelis with the Israelis eradicating the Palestinians because they don't belong in that land, man. <laughs> right? Everything is being set up for the children of Israel. So we're warning our people. We're telling them what's coming. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of... It's like, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Yeah, we're speaking the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. And let us return back to Amos 3 and 6. It says, shall a trumpet, shall a trumpet be blown in the city? What is the trumpet being blown for? Oh, danger. The enemies are coming. All right, you got a watchman set up at a tower and he's watching for danger. He's watching for the invaders. He's watching for trouble. And we're blowing that trumpet. It says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid. Shall there be evil 
in the city and the Lord have not done it yet. The Lord's about to do all these things. The Lord's about to kill these people. Right? The spirit of safety is about to vanish. Right? <laughs> these people, they thinking they're going to survive what's to come. These so-called preppers. Right? They're preppers, but they, they don't got no Bible. They, I ain't never heard no preppers speaking about the Lord. Speaking about the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. We ain't talking about speaking about Jesus Christ. <laughs> they, ain't, they don't believe in Jesus Christ, right? They don't believe in Jesus Christ. They don't believe in nothing but they fucking guns and weapons and themselves, right? These people are not going to fucking make it. They're not going to make it. I'm reading the book of Matthew 24 and 19. It says, and woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days, right? <laughs> Lord's about to kill a lot of people, right? A lot of you people with children, your children's about to be put to death. Family members about to be put to death, right? We're talking, we're talking about dark days, right? The dark days, because first off, your spirit is in the spirit of darkness. You ain't in the spirit of light, so you got to get what you attract. You got to get what you attract darkness, man. These people believe in um, Satan, so Satan, <laughs> Lord's about to unleash the spirit of Satan on them. The spirit of the adversary, death upon these people. And they're not going to be able to live with themselves, right? Because um, the only way to prep for what's coming is to be in this truth, right? The only way to prep for what's coming is to be in the in the, um, in the the covering of the Lord, man. In the shadow of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, right? Um, the government assistance ain't going to help you. Um, the fucking FEMA camps, that's another thing they're going to run to, the FEMA camps. They ain't going to be able to help you. Resident Evil, they show you people run to the government. They ain't going to be able to help you. It speaks more to you that go down to Egypt for help. Right? These people going to go down, trying to go down to Egypt for help. And guess what? They're going to meet their demise. They're going to meet their demise. This is the book of First Thessalonians 3, 5 and 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, right? Come over here. We got help for you. We got food. We got shelter. We got you. They're going to grab your ass up, put a chip in your body. Right, they're going to put you in a concentration camp and you're going to be stuck like glue. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. Yeah, you ain't going to be able to escape. What's coming, man? Right, what's coming, man? These devils. <laughs> These devils coming. They coming with pistols. They coming with a mass number of <laughs> military men. Right, because they setting up, they trying to set up the new world order. They want the chaos to happen, so you people could beg some order to come in. Right, order out of chaos. It's gonna get so bad. Well, the migrants are causing too much trouble. Too many migrants. I mean, we need the military help. The gangbangers are out of control. We need help. We need guess what? That help about to come in the form of pistols, guns, um, lockdowns. Right, martial law. <laughs> implementation of RFID chips, right? Roads being blocked, it says a man shall desire to go into the city, and guess what? You're not gonna go nowhere. You're not gonna go nowhere. You're gonna be stuck like fucking glue. And these people, that spirit of fear, they're gonna take over the fucking earth. I'm reading the book of Matthew 10, verse 34. It says, think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, man. But a sword, right? Yeah, I was shy. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is the author, is behind all this, man. Is the one who's setting this all up, who's giving the green light for all this to go down, man. So you need to be on the good side of the Lord, man. If you're not on the side of the Lord, man, you about to taste the sword. You about to taste the sword. Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I am not sent. I am not to send peace, but a sword, man. Motherfuckers gonna die. Right, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus 39 and 28. And it reads, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes, but in the time of destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Yeah, and um, these look like them type of spirits that the Lord is talking about in the Bible. <laughs> yeah the fuck you think they arming these men for man what you think they got they arming your police stations looking like military men right they buy they ain't spending money on fucking agriculture and fixing the roads and education 
in healthcare. No, they spending money on weapons of mass fucking destruction. They going they ready for war. World War Three, motherfucking so much of your money that you spend on tax go what to that military industrial complex that's about to go to war. Right? Nuclear missiles, weapons, bulletproof vests, head head protection, right? Drones. Right, you people, you, you, you regular ass people, man, they're gonna be watching you from above, from the side, from everywhere, right? This is the fucking time of Jacob's trouble we coming into. Right? These devils gonna unleash these these killers on who? The children of Israel. This is the book of 2nd Ezra 16 and 70. It reads, For there shall be in every place, right? I'm gonna read it again, for there shall be in every place, for there shall be in every place. And in the next cities, in great insurrection upon those that fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh man. If you look, even if you don't don't fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh but you just believe in in Jesus Christ, <laughs> you believe in the, the power of the Bible, the unknown God of the Bible, your ass in trouble. You watching these videos, your ass in trouble. You you don't put a comment in a in a video of ours, you in trouble, right? It says, for there shall be in every place. And in the next cities, a great insurrection upon those that fear Yahweh, fear the Lord. They shall be like mad men, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, man. And who's that they, man? The Lord about to unleash these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers, the motherfuckers with guns, right? Because the Lord said it with the sword, with the sword. You <laughs> know, the Lord gonna use that sword, that gun, that knife. That pistol, that AR, that Glock, that Mac, whatever fucking weapon you got, man, that fucking the Lord gonna have a nigga drop a refrigerator on your ass, hit you with his fucking car, right? The Lord gonna have people blowing shit up. The Lord gonna have people um, fucking poisoning people, all type of shit, man. The spirit of the death is about to be every fucking where.